Hey friends, John McLennan here, and in this video you're going to learn how to play Put Your Lights On as recorded by Santana with Everlast. Now I'm going to break down the chords that you need to know, the strumming patterns, and even that cool little lick like what you heard me play at the top of this video where you're basically strumming some chords and then moving a melody as you go through the chords. It sounds really cool. But before we dive in, I want to hook you up with something right away. If you're new and you haven't downloaded my fretboard guide yet, you've got to get it. It's at the first link down below and it's going to show you the five must-know chords and scales to play in any style anywhere on the neck. And I want to give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below to grab your copy. All right, well with that said, let's break down this song. Let's break down how to play Put Your Lights On as recorded by Santana with Everlast. We're going to start off with this classic acoustic guitar intro. It's four bars long. Here's what it sounds like. All right, so we're using a couple chords here. Essentially, it's like an A minor to a C, a G, and an F major seven, and an E. So let me show you those chords first. We're gonna play A minor from the fifth string down like this. That's gonna be open, two, two, one, open. Then we'll change just one finger to go to C. That's again from the fifth string down. Three, two, open, one, open. Then we go to a G. You can go to any G that's comfortable for you. If you want to go like this, that's fine. I'm using a three finger G like this. Three, two, open, open, three. And then an F major seven, which is from the fourth string down. Just all my fingers lined up here, three, two, one, and then open. Then I'll finish with an E chord. And that looks like A minor, it's just brought up one string. We're gonna play open, two, two, one, open, open. So all together, A minor to C, G, F major seven, E. Now, when we strum those chords, for example, in the verse, we're going to go. It's a, a little bit of a syncopated strumming pattern here. We're going to start with a quarter note, one E and a. And then we're going to be thinking in our mind just one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. That sort of driving 16th note rhythm with your strum hand just going back and forth. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So we're going to play one E and a, two E and a. So that's down, down, up, down, up. Then we're going to go up, up. So one E and a, two E and a, three E and a and then four E and a. So the second half is like up, 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 down, up. So down, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one, two E. <laughs> then you switch chords. That would be just a general strumming pattern. Here it is again. Okay, then when we go F major seven to E, we're gonna play this. That's a little syncopation there. Here I'm playing F major seven and then I go to the E on the and of two. So one E and a two and. 
So that's down, and then a quick up strum, and then a rest. And then I play the E chord. One E and a two and, then back to 16th notes. Three E and a four E and a. So one E and a two and, three E and a four E and a. So we're going to play that for the verse. Now we're going to essentially play that for the intro as well, but we're going to add a little bit more to it. We're going to have a little moving line. So what I'm doing is I'm playing that A minor, and then I'm taking my index finger off and then putting it back down. Then when I go to the C chord, I'm going to do a little moving melody like this. That's C. Then on the second beat, I'm going to add my pinky to the third fret of the second string. Then go back to C, then lift it off and do C major 7. So 1 E and 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a... Then when I go to G, same thing, I'm going to start with this chord and then I'm going to lift off that high string and get a moving melody in there. Then I'll finish it up with, so. Then we go to the verse. In the verse, we get rid of the melody. Just strum. Okay, that goes over and over. And then we get to the next section, and that's when the vocal goes, because there's a monster. And this just goes between A minor and E, one bar each. Keep strumming. Okay, out of this, we get the final section, which really rocks out, and it's where the vocals go, don't let me lose my nerve. That's our lyric cue. Here's what it sounds like. We're gonna play power chords. Three, four, and. So I'm playing a C power chord here on the third fret, three, five, five. And then I'm moving it up to a C sharp, four, six, six. I'm gonna do two down strums, rest, two down strums, rest, like this. Then I'll go to G. This is the third fret of the low E. Same shape, that power chord shape. And then, that's a little triplet rhythm there on the F chord. One, three, three. We just take that G, move it down to the first fret. And then we play an E power chord. That's just open two, two. And that repeats four times. So one and two and three and four. One and two and three and a four. E and a one and two, three. And now the last time. Three and a four. E and a one. Two, three, and a four, E, and a... And that just repeats the F to E, you go. And if you want, you could play an E minor. And then you're back to the top. 
congrats on making it through this classic guitar part to put your lights on as recorded by Santana with Everlast. Be sure to take your time with all those chords and the different rhythms and being able to move a melody through those chords. There's a lot going on in there, so just rewind the video and go over any parts that are unclear. And then when you're ready, go and play along with the recording. I definitely recommend practicing along with the songs, you know, just putting on the recording, go on YouTube or play it on whatever you use to play and just grab your guitar and try and make it sound like what you're hearing on the recording. Try and make your guitar line right up with the actual track and that's going to be a great way to practice and to help you even more make sure to download my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below and this is going to show you the five must know chords and scales to play in any style anywhere on the neck and i want to give it to you completely for free just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below also, before you go, leave a comment and let me know your number one song that you would like to see me teach here next on the channel. Just comment it down below. Thanks for your support, and we'll see you in another video real soon.